A dual display setup is spacious and lovely, but may not be realistic for your situation or work style. Let's look at two interface nuances that may induce frustration while building effects in a single display environment. And more importantly, how to resolve them. First, if you click the effect mode button to open the effect editor in a floating window, you may find yourself moving the effect editor around to create a window layout that keeps everything you need accessible and in view. The solution is super simple. Use the effects workspace to open the effect editor. As you can see, this workspace changes the composer window to a single monitor display and docks the effects editor next to the composer window. And to boost efficiency, you may want to map this to your keyboard. Okay, let's look at the second nuance. If you scrub the time code track or ruler to review an effect, either the effect editor disappears or becomes empty. So what's happening? Well, when you click the time code ruler or track, Media Composer takes you out of the current mode back to source record mode. Great if you're ready to review a section of your sequence, annoying if you wanna continue tweaking the effect. To resolve this, develop the habit of scrubbing and playing back effects in the effect preview monitor. And consider mapping the effect mode button to a key on your keyboard. That way, if you accidentally close the effect editor, you can quickly open it with a single keystroke. Hopefully this helps you enjoy a frustration-free effects building experience in Media Composer.